Hey y'all, I just want to throw up a quick video. <clears throat> this other piece that I was selling you, the vacuum thing did not work. You see the orange film there? I have some orange on the back, as well as this white, which is a, um, they're all rated for 400 plus degrees in, the, in an oven for so many minutes. The white is actually a fiberglass tape. And this is more of a plastic polyurethane type plastic uh, uh, tape. So the vacuum thing did not work out. Way too big of a vacuum for as small of the attachment that I needed. So I just want to throw this up there and let you all see the, this little process. Um, you see a little bit of blue here and there. Uh, I didn't get it all blown off. I'm trying not to touch it too much. I don't want the oils in my on my hands get into the um, metal. So, um, so it's all right. So I'm gonna bring you over. We're gonna powder it up and stick it in the oven and see how it turns out. What we're gonna end up doing is that we're going to be I'm going to put you in the pixel pod here, tighten it down. Um, we're going to have to do like a flash heat, which is just put in there for a couple minutes, just enough for the powder to um, solidify a little bit, and, and then we're going to pull it out, let it cool down, and then we're going to remove all the tape. Okay. That, that will just get the uh, powder just hard enough so we can take the tape off without any damage. Okay, so I forget what hole I used. I think it was this one. Let's go around the other way. So this will prevent any of the powder getting where the tape is, obviously. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead. Pull up our tip here. Alright. We're going to push our button and then we're just going to blow the powder in real gently. All the little crevices, cracks, wherever you can get the powder in, we're going to have to get it in there. One way or another. Now, the, when doing this, I would wear a face mask. Mine, I got to wear it drafts a different way. So, it doesn't blow my way. I should still be wearing one, but... <clears throat> yeah, do what I say, not as I do. And no, I'm not clearing my throat because of that powder. I know my brother would probably say something about that. Yep, we're just gonna get in there in every which angle we can. Okay, I'm gonna rotate. See if we can spray a different way. We wanna get in every angle. The trick is to spray all over the place. So you don't get too much powder in one area, too much buildup, at the same time of not, and at the same time trying to get it in the little crevices, so not doing it too much. It, it takes a little bit of practice, but it can be done. It's just one of those things you just got to... Grab it and go. Grab it by the horns and go. And what's nice, if you do screw up in this particular, uh, this setup with powder, you just blow it off with some uh, compressed air. That's it. That's all it takes. Alright, so we're not looking too bad. I'll probably hit the bottom of this. 
a little bit more so it looks a little more even and uniform. But other than that, I think it looks all right. I think we're I think we're gonna be all right. And like I said, we're just gonna flash heat this. And a little bit of powder fell down from the hook. You gotta watch when you bump it. You don't want to bump it. All right. So we got all the holes all plugged up with various plugs and and uh, tape off where we needed to tape off. So I'm gonna take you off of the pixel pot. I'm gonna go ahead and move you guys over there on the bigger tripod and we're gonna do this whole process which reminds me I need to grab my flashlight here okay all right so I'm gonna lower you down just a tad that way you'll be able to see in the oven and see what I'm actually what I'm talking about Nope, let me tie my boot real quick. Almost tripped over my lace. All right. All right, so we're just gonna do a few minutes. Like I said, just enough for that powder to start solidifying. Yeah, try to say that ten times fast. All right. So I'm gonna go away here a little bit. We'll peek in there with the light. Just kind of, just make sure it's just enough, just getting glossy. Like my sticker on there? Uh, get the gullet. Yep. I hope you all doing good. I know I uh, didn't do my usual intro. <laughs> um, hope everyone's doing good. Oh, so I wanna, I wanna just show you. These are done. That part didn't get too well there. I don't like that. But these are actually, they're cold to touch now. Yeah, so we're going to go through with some of these holes that need to be tapped. Want to make sure all your holes are tapped. Don't want any interference or shavings um, from tapping into your oil or your fuel whatever it's going on to and then we're going to go around all this and clean that up and use by hand real light sandpaper or with a block whatever you're most comfortable with to getting that flat and keeping it flat so we're just going to barely break through that to where it's metal i'm gonna probably just going to use a uh, oil grinder with a uh, scotch brake pad so it's not abrasive or not as abrasive as sandpaper but it does spin a lot faster so we're gonna make sure uh, we don't go too far on that this could have used a little more powder but it is not bad Not bad at all. Nope, not bad at all. <clears throat> so we got the two pieces. These are the two pieces for uh, the gas tank. So they'll made up.
like this. Okay. And they don't set quite even or flat with another. We're still going to form a, uh, some gasket material that's meant for fuel. And then plus all the screws that go in there as well. That helps. But we are definitely going to take powder off all that. All that uh, mating surfaces. Yep. But no, that actually it turned out fairly well. Nice, smooth. It's a set and finish. So, nothing too terrible. And we probably should go look at that. <laughs> now we're rambling on. I'm rambling on a little too much. It's probably already done. No, no. Not quite, not quite. Get rolling in Not quite all of it has been solidified, so we'll wait in there a little bit longer. This actually might take a little bit longer than I thought. It is a thicker piece of metal, so we'll take a little bit to heat up. All right, so we have the fuel tank, so we'll be put, putting all that together, getting it cleaned up. We have a bunch of brass pieces that we need to uh, uh, shine up, clean up, shine up. Yeah, this is a nice satin finish. Some of the where the powder didn't get to, not as much powder. It's all right because you got the uh, cylinder and all that sits right there, so I don't see it being an issue. Except for in the back, I'm not too happy about the back. But then again, it will be covered. You could strip it down, redo it. Sometimes you can get away with putting a little bit of powder on it and putting it back in the oven, but that's a little risky. Then you'll be starting all over and waste your time and powder and on that go around. So. All right, so I'm just gonna leave this stuff here. Leave it by the old bike there. I'll go check on that part again. Sometimes when you leave the door open, and you know you lose some heat, it takes a little bit longer to warm up. So. I like that orange tape. This is my first time using the orange tape. There's different colors. I bought a bunch of green. Green, I'm not too fan of. It does has a tendency to shrivel up when it gets sits in there too long. This orange seems to be holding up quite, quite better than the green. So, don't get the green, in my opinion. We'll probably pull the part out and take a little bit better look. Make sure everything is somewhat coated. Then we're going to let it cool down. And then remove all the tape. And then put it back in. And then we're going to cure it for the full amount of time. Which is 400 degrees. The part needs to be 400 degrees for 7 minutes. Which if you have an infrared, it's a good tool to have. Alright, I'll pull this out. Oh yeah, I love the orange tape. Much better. It started peeling a little bit at the uh, back side there, but use our light. Now this will not have a smooth finish because it's not done curing. The hotter it gets, the more smooth it will be. And now at this time, all these plugs that you have in there, you can remove those as well. Because that powder will not be going into that, um, be going into those holes. It won't move. It'll just be there. So, we're just going to hang it up here. If I get spun around, 
I spun in my hand there. All right, we're just gonna hang that up, remove it, and then it's, we're gonna bake it for the full time. So that's that. I just wanna throw in a little extra info um, because I didn't get to that to my last video, and I apologize. But uh, that will be up there for y'all to see the little bit of trick of, that's what we call um, flash bake. I believe that's what everybody calls it, but I call it that. Because it reminds me of flashing when you're painting. So in between coats is your flash time. And to have that those solvents flash off, so to speak. So anyway, um, that's just a little extra info. I hope you all enjoyed. Sorry I'm walking around. I'm trying to multitask. It's getting late and I want to go to bed. I got work in the morning. So you all be good. Be kind. Be safe, and please spread the love. I'll see you all in the next video.